Snow, you've come to the right video if you're looking to make snow. Hey guys, I'm Bytes by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back once again taking a look at another pixel art video. That's not how you say video. Anyway, we're back, and I'm excited because we're making some snow today, and I, I, I've been testing this for a while, and snow in this perspective, like a top-down type of tile in pixel art, it's, it's actually a quite difficult thing to capture properly. Like, platform or side scroll, no big deal. But a top-down type of snow is kind of difficult. So, I'm going to walk through a, 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 a kind of simple design today. The first thing I want to do is I want to grab a nice whitish-blue color, which is this bad boy right here, which is DCEFF5. And I'm just going to hit G to bucket fill that, just in our 16 by 16 canvas, by the way. Um, and we're going to go ahead and just drop that color down just a little tiny bit. Just a little tiny bit, saturate it a little bit. You nice get a nice little line in there, you see how it's, it's nice, nice, uh, nice and darker. So I'm going to go to View, and then uh, Tiled Mode, and Tiled in both axes. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to kind of just draw a nice little line upwards, but I really want to make sure Pixel Perfect is on. So go to the brush, select your brush here, and then just check Pixel Perfect, make sure that's on. And I kind of want to do like a little snaky kind of thing like this. Oh my gosh, that was almost perfect the first time. Jesus. All right, all right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna hit eye to eye drop that that color and then just just get rid of that pixel right there. Oh, praise the heavens! That was almost perfect the first time. Look at that. It's a, it's a little it's a little curvy. It's a little bumpy, but that's fine. Um, all right. Next things last. Um, I want to go ahead and fill this in. Make it like make it a little bit thicker. It's too thin right now. So I'll hit B to go back to the brush and then uncheck Pixel Perfect. And that will just kind of loosely with that with that darker color. We'll go we'll go along the outside here and then just kind of loosely thicken this up a little bit because it's kind of thin right now. So we'll just loosely thicken that up. Leave it thick in some parts. Leave it thin in some parts. Just make it look nice. Um, all right. Next thing. I want to go ahead and just add in a couple of random variation dots, you know, here and there. I don't want any of them to touch the actual line, though. Something like that. Now, this is too dark, so I'm going to go ahead and actually uh, replace color and then just drag the from color to the lines and then go to the to color and then drag that to the to the regular color. And I'm just going to drag that to color uh, in the HSV. Just drag that color down and saturate it just a little bit. Lighten it up a little bit. Just I want it to be a little lighter than what it is because it's too dark a little bit. There we go. So that looks good. We'll hit OK on that. Now, I want to gra use the color that we do have, the color that we already used, and then just kind of go loosely out. Oh, no, I'm pixel perfect. Make sure pixel perfect is on. And I kind of want to go loosely outside the edge here, just loosely, just like that. So you have a nice little thing. This is too sharp. So let's, let's actually uncheck pixel perfect, and we'll just kind of try and go with the flow here, something like that maybe. And now this pixel is touching, and this is going to bug me, so we'll kind of just move that over a little bit, and then just replace it. Alright, cool. So we got a nice little pixel snow thing going on here, and I don't really want this to be that thick, so we'll kind of just trim this back a little bit. Just use the eyedrop tool, grab that from up here, eyedrop, and then just kind of grab that color, um, and just kind of fix a couple of these double-edged portions here. So, so maybe something like that looks pretty good. I um, mean, I kind of want to go ahead and grab a, maybe even a second color. So I'll, I drop this lighter color here, drop it down just a little tiny bit, and kind of get some shading in between here as well. Maybe something like that in some of the areas. Yeah, sure. That looks pretty good. I like that. Um, and maybe even a gradient from this color to this color right here. So I'll just drop it down ever so slightly, and we'll just get, that's not, a, that's too much. Eh, ah, that's too much saturation. Eh. Ah. Oh, that's not even light enough. That's not even dark enough. I can't even see it. Okay. Eh. Maybe that much. That's not even enough to tell. We'll kind of just get a, a rough little thing going on here, and then I'll just, I'll change the color myself. So I don't, you guys probably can't see that at all. That's fine. Don't worry about it. We'll just kind of replace color, and then uh, from that color to the lighter color, and we'll just darken it just a little tiny bit. Darken and saturate. And I think that looks good. Okay, and now we got a very slight gradient going off this direction. Now, I, I believe that this darkest color is just too dark. So we'll grab that, go to 2, and we'll drag the 2 to the lightest color here. Actually, you know what we'll do? We'll just grab that other color, this one right here. That one comes in handy. There we go. So you can tell the difference between that. Now, we'll just grab that one. Look how cool it looks when you go from back and forth between the colors. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. It just fades away. Just fades away. Awesome. Anyway, um, all right. So I think that looks pretty good. Now this is this section right here is kind of thin. It's lacking. It's lacking, guys. It's lacking. So I kind of just thicken that up a little bit. 
thicken this area up a little bit. Nice little, nice little, nice little snowy snow, snow. Now I want to do maybe something else here. I want to do a little bit with all the whole color. So I'll go to adjustments, hue and saturation. We'll kind of saturate it a little bit, brighten it a little bit. Hue shift it a little more to the bluish, the bluish side, I guess. Yeah, hit OK on that. Maybe I think it looks better than that. Yeah, 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 definitely. All right, um, let's do that again, actually, because I just messed that up. Yep. Hold on, folks. Bear just with me. All right, we're gonna do something like that. Hit OK. All right, cool. So now we can go view tiled mode, tiled in both axes. And now this is what we have pretty much is just a basic little snow, little snowboy texture. Looks kind of good, I think. I don't know. Maybe. We'll go ahead and just maybe. I kind of want to. Hmm. You know what I want to do? Hit tab. And we'll just right click, create a new layer. And then above this, we'll grab that darker color and just darken it a little bit more. Um, and I kind of want to just maybe do like some lines in the snow like this. Do some lines in the snow like this, just like some distortion lines, I guess they would be. Um, right? And then we'll right click this layer, properties, from normal to overlay, and then drop that down a little bit like that. Delete that, and now you can see, well, maybe not overlay. Let's try a different blend mode. Let's do maybe multiply, and then we'll just drop it down. Ooh. Ooh, maybe a little bit of detail in there. Oh, yes. I think that really breaks it out, guys. I think that really breaks it out. Now, it's very subtle. Might be, might not be able to tell on YouTube. Um, but I do believe, if I, I do reckon, if I zoom in here, that looks, that looks pretty nice. I think that really boosts it a little bit. There we go. I like that. So I think that's going to be it for our snow texture. Very basic. you yeah, basic. Uh, very, very basic today. I like it. I think it looks pretty cool. And that little bit of detail in there, which is always nice. A lot of fun to put that detail in there. I like doing the detail like that. It's a very cheap and easy way to do it, and it always looks really good. It's like a, it's like my style, I guess, now. Um, anyway, hope you, ladies and gentlemen, enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. Um, hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, it's snow problem. All right, all right, okay, bye. Um, yeah, uh, I'll see you in the next one, but until then. Bye-bye. <laughs>